All right, we finally are getting to the definite integral and doing things the way it's supposed to be done and intended. We have ourselves a regular term, so it's kind of like power rule stuff. For power rule stuff, if I give you the integral, okay, of, and I'm just going to use very, very, very basic stuff, x to the nth, what you do, dx, what you do is you have 1 over n plus 1 x to the n plus 1. So the first thing that I have to do here is use this power rule to integrate x squared. All right, so if I were to really show my steps, and I'll do this for this video, my n is 2. I'm going to do 1 over 2 plus 1 x to the 2 plus 1. Now, I still have my limits of integration that I'm going to write out over here, and those limits of integration are going to be between 1 to 3. Doing a little bit of work, I have 1 third x to the third power, limits of integration. Now, since I have these limits of integration, we have to do the whole subtraction thingy that integrals do. So what you do is you write out what you got, one third, okay? But instead of saying x cubed, you plug in your upper limit. So one third, three cubed, close my bracket, minus one third, one cubed, close the bracket. And again, this comes from the idea of the antiderivative of the upper limit minus the antiderivative of the lower limit. And that's what I did. I rewrote this out, plugged in three, rewrote this out, plugged in one, subtract the one from the other. So it's just a little bit of uh, math now, which is what this is. One third times 27 minus one third times one 9 minus a third is going to equal 8 and 2 thirds. Okay? Fun stuff.